Y'all, you know what's about to go down. The 60s cart is getting a turbo. So excited for this. This has been a long awaited project. We were kind of putting it off because we didn't really know how to do it, but this little thing, it's called a Tillotson TCT carburetor. And basically it's called mechanical fuel injection. So it has adjustable, it's, not, it's nothing too fancy, but basically you can adjust the air fuel mixture very easily with just a screw on the top. Go power sports sell this, and I think this is gonna be the key to getting this turbo running good on this engine. And hey, you know what, maybe even making some power, but I know we're gonna make a ton of turbo noise and stuff. And as far as that question goes of even making power or not, the first thing we're gonna do is do a preliminary test of this cart, just like top speed runs and then like, just like a, a little drag race kind of thing that will time to make sure that when we're tuning in stuff that we can get some more mile per hour out of this cart with the turbo. Should be really cool. Well, we're not going into huge details yet about how this is gonna work, but basically in this episode we're gonna do this test, then get the turbo mounted so we can make some cool noises and stuff, and then we'll worry about getting it running great and stuff, making boosts later. So let's get this thing out on a track where we can drive it and have some fun. <laughs> Hopping in. Yep, it's a little tight, but yeah, y'all should check out the video where we restored this thing. It looked absolutely nothing like it does now. Okay. That's us let it rip there, Chip. Alright guys, if this turbo makes power, this thing is going to be insane. Okay, so impressions of this thing, it has a ton of torque, like right when you get on it, you just feel like a wave of power. It doesn't really bog down or anything, it's really perfect for drifting. And top speed's pretty fast. I mean, we'll get a uh, next clip will be us getting a top speed reading, but I mean, it's a really solid engine, works really well, so it'll be kind of tough to beat this thing. Looks like it hit 35. Wow, okay. Didn't sound too healthy at that speed though. No, it felt like it was hitting like a limiter. Kind of like hit its own rev limiter, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, that's a solid speed. Yeah, that's solid. Keep in mind, this thing is geared for torque because it is a, like our drift cart. Um, if you want to check out videos of it drifting, there's plenty of them. So yeah. Cool, cool. I think the next yep. time I see you is when we're working on the turbo. All right, so now that we know kind of what we need to do, First thing is mounting this battery because we need the battery to power the oil pump and keep our turbo alive. I just kind of whipped up this little battery box, that's pretty good. So this just fits right into the air, pretty stuck. So then, take this over here to the cart. Probably planning on mounting it, just something like here. I'll probably just weld it to the frame and it balances. That way it's kind of hidden behind the engine. And I'm trying to keep all the components over on this side because in the future if we want to do like twin engine, twin turbo stuff, we have some room.
The battery box is mounted. Now what we're gonna do is worry about the entire oil system. So basically, let me grab the turbo over here. So the idea is we need basically oil coming in through the feed and out the drain, and we wanna have some extra oil supply. So this is a Go Power Sports oil catch can. I mounted it here. I still have to just trim this down, but basically it's right underneath the turbo. And what we'll do is we'll have the turbo mounted here. Oil will come in here, just drain out here into this reservoir, and then go through, and we still need to mount the cooler and the pump, but I'll get this cut up and mounted, and we'll be good to go. last hour of work has been a lot of me just trying to think about how this is going to work as far as the oil system. I think I have it figured out. So basically what's going on is we already talked about how the turbo is going to get fed oil and that's going to it just gravity feeds down into our little reservoir here. Then this goes directly to the pump because this, this should always have oil in it. So that will go right here through the pump. I had to do this because this pump only has one. It only has one way the tube can go in with this special connector, so I just hooked it to this. Then I have the pump going out into this oil cooler I got on Amazon for like $20, but I mean, it'll be fine. And then it gets pumped through here all the way up, and this will go into the inlet of the turbo. So I think we have all of that set up, so now what we need to do is we need to finally start working on our turbo manifold and get that turbo bolted up. All right, so we're pretty much finalized here on how all this is gonna be ran and stuff. I've got the oil pump hooked up to a switch right here. So that all looks good. So we also have our oil cooler mounted right in front of the fan on the engine, so that'll hopefully bring some air through it. That's kind of a stress though. Now, we just have to make a flange for this, still hook it up to the exhaust, and then we'll bolt it on. Yeah, so let's get this stock Go Power Sports pipe out. 12 millimeter, half inch, basically the same thing. Yes, sir. So now, oh, that would have been bad if went the engine. Okay, turbo time manifold, and we have this stock exhaust header that we just kind of cut, and now we are finally mating the turbo to the engine with weld. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, try to get it as straight as possible. Is the turbo straight? Yeah. Looks pretty good. Oh, wow. Is that a yeah. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's a turbo. That's sick. Cut up here. So basically we made this, it's not the prettiest, but we're waiting on flanges in the mail. So in the final rendition, we're gonna have like real flanges with like a bung on this. But for now, this will be fine. We have this flange we made on there too. So now it is finally time to fold up this turbo and then we'll run the oil lines. And I think she's gonna be ready to make some turbo noises. So we have everything all hooked up, oil pumps going through, doing its thing. The problem is this cheap turbo is leaking oil out of the inlet. Or we have something hooked up on. Yeah. Okay, so we kind of just assumed that because like the, it worked here well, that like the one facing up and the one going down was the inlet and outlet. Um, but we tried, we're clocking it the other way because 
I feel like we were pumping in oil through the outlet possibly and that could have made stuff as far as sealing goes unhappy. So what we basically did is we just clocked the turbo the other way around and then we'll just get this a chance to hopefully make, we'll make this the inlet and this the outlet and we'll see if it smokes everywhere. Alright, so we have the whole system hooked up now. We're gonna see if she, I don't know, see if anything goes wrong. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Um, this was insane. Uh, there's definitely some major issues on this thing and some huge hurdles. That's why we're breaking this up into two parts. We're not doing any of the intake tubing yet just because we wanted, we wanted to get this thing figured out before we mess with all that because if we were pumping oil into the intake, this thing would not run well at all. Uh, with that being said, the next part of this video is going to be, or the next video of this thing is going to be putting the carburetor over here and then running some intake tubing directly into the intake so we can finally make some real boost on this thing. But thank you Go Power Sports. I mean, all this stuff like the fuel line, with this Makuni and the straight pipe that ran way better before it was from Go Power Sports. So this is just kind of an experimental thing so we can do it and kind of save you guys some money or convince you all to do a turbo if this works out well. So. Thank you guys for watching. Put any recommendations or whatever in the comments because we do go through those. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Thumbs up for Turbo.